It's the first of the month. Summer's almost over. We about to play this game. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's going on? This is another episode of the Plug with Arvick Superstar. This is episode 93. And we're streaming on Let's Play Some NBA Playgrounds. And we have a very, very great special guest, Professor and and pop culture, con what is it, concierge? Concierge. concierge <laughs> Mr. Clyde Dixon. Thanks for having me, people. Appreciate the love, you know. So, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Kyle. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Kyle Dixon, excuse me. Mm -hmm. So, shout out to all the viewers out there. I'm Marvick Superstar. You tune into another episode. Make sure you sit back, relax, grab yourself some popcorn as yes, we sir. do here. Yes, indeed. Cheers. Cheers. And we're about to get into this episode. Well, basically, NBA Playgrounds is basically the modern day version of NBA Jams. Okay. Of what we grew up in the 90s. See, we grew up in the 90s playing NBA Jams, Sega Genesis, yeah. Super Nintendo, all those classics. So now we speed up to 2017 with all the streaming consoles, PlayStation, Xbox. They came up with Playgrounds because NBA Jam cannot be read, um, read, um, what is the word? Um, Read uh, dispute like a uh, um, like uh, made into another version. Oh wow! Because the rights and copyrights is no longer belongs to the original company. Now they belong to another company. But the creators of NBA Jams created NBA Playgrounds, and also this is a licensed NBA game with all the great players from the past, present. That's why I like this okay. because you don't have to get a 2K, you don't have to get the NBA Live. You can go get play play uh, Playgrounds. And you still keep up with the roster. You still can play two on two, even though they got those other franchise games out there, three on three, which Ice Cube created. Right, the big which, three. The big three, right? Which is worldwide now. And also, if you're not, then you know this. You about to find out. And everybody about to find out. In 2012, Tokyo Olympics, because that's where the Olympics is going to happen in 2020, uh, 2020, where they're going to introduce the first time ever in the Olympics three on three. So since it became worldwide phenomenon from every every country out there, they decided to make it an Olympic game. So if you're watching the show right now, um, prepare yourself, get ready into it, check the internet, Google it, register, go out there, and make it happen. And Mr. And um, Mr. Dixon here is going to tell you all about his social media, and we're going to get into it right now. We're going to talk some more. Let's get into the game. PlayStation Playgrounds Expedition, where basically me and Mr. Dixon will go one on one yes, sir. and play a game. Yes, then sir. they got the tournaments. What's cool about the tournaments that besides you playing in the tournaments, you can go online and play against other people from around the world. Okay, that's the move. That's the so, move. So kick, kicking butt internationally, right? Yes, yeah, kicking okay. butt, taking names, just like yeah. we in the, just like we in the rucker, just like we outside, just like anywhere you go out and play basketball, it's just like that, folks. But in three on three in games like this, you can make yourself, you can get a sponsor, you can get money, you can really build yourself a career if you know what you're doing. Mm. But and also in this game playgrounds, they, you have to unlock these. So you see how we got online and block in mm -hmm. black, right? Right. So then we got open packs in black. Open packs is basically is like the card games that we used to collect when we was kids, okay. and we used to trade with our brothers and sisters right, and cousins. Right, like the tops, uh, so the Dunruss, the tops, exactly. The skybox. The skybox. Yeah, wow. The skybox. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a couple of skyboxes. Oh, you got, you got some skyboxes? I got, I got oh, a couple of. I got okay. a Michael Jordan golden signature. Um, what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You bring Somebody okay. gonna email me right okay. now. <laughs> Somebody <Okay>. gonna <laughs> email me. But open packs is basically you get those in the game. Once you get the starter packs, that's how you unlock the characters in the game. Mm. Characters, which I mean, is the players in the game. Okay. So you you not you don't automatically get every character. You start off with three char two characters, and then you work your way from there. Yeah. So I already did all that for you folks. And then we got options. Where you go into options, we turn the music down because we don't want copyright infringement. You got the FX with the sound effects of me about to just dunk or Mr. Dixon going to shoot the three media style. You see what I'm talking about. Then we got the shop meter commentary because it's all there. So, and also your control configuration, just in case you want to check it out yourself. Mm -hmm. So you can see yeah. these. See what's cool about this too, because we got the AI programs installed into the game, artificial intelligence. So you got the computer when you go against it, you actually playing somebody. Mm -hmm. Like you're playing one of the creators. Right. Like that's the thing that nobody tells you guys is that the computers are the creators who played the game already and this is the characters that they play that's why the computer be going crazy dunking on you shooting on you like that because that's the creators 
and that's them playing the game. So then that's the card collection where we come right here. I always give a, a, a tutorial description of what we're going to before we get into the game. So you got every year, every player here, I unlock everyone. So we got team, we even got logos here that don't even exist no more. Wow. Like the Charlotte Hornets is gone. Yeah. So these are also unlockables when you play the game. Like the old school Seattle Sonics when Patrick Ewing was on there, Kevin Durant when he was young, Ray Allen. Okay. When he retired before he retired and came back with Miami. Yes. Remember? Definitely. And then we got the regular if I don't say this, they they're gonna So we got the playground players. So these are characters that's in the playground. These are also characters out in the real world doing their stuff with streaming just like I'm doing. Mm. So one day and I'm praying to God. Then I get to be featured in the video game. So these people... So are, these people actually exist? These people actually exist okay. in the world. So you will find these people online, YouTube, Google. You will Google them first. Okay. Then you will want to watch like videos of them. So you will go to YouTube, which Google owns now. Right. So we got all these people and coaches. Because they also got coaches from like... Um, from like N1s. From like the colleges. Mm. From like the camps. From the overseas. And then we got a game right here. Shout out to Hip Hop Gamer. If you're watching my show, this guy's right here. He's he's in the streaming gaming world just like me. He's very known. He's he has a title belt which I would like to beat him for. Oh man. He's works with he works with Hot 97. Okay. So that's I will we will meet and we will play. What's up? Shout out Hip Hop Gamer. Exactly. Shout out to Hip Hop Gamers and all Hot 97 out there. Yeah. yeah. Holla at your boy RX Superstar. Email me at rxsuperstar gmail.com or follow me on all my social media outlets Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat at RX Superstar. And also, I got to let them know that my show has a Facebook page where we feature movies, we feature all up to date comic books, movie, music, whatever's going on in the world, we got it up there. So, you want to go to www. Com. No, www.facebook.com forward slash the plug with RX Superstar. And tune into that. And then you got the rest of the characters, rest of the players, you know. So we're going to get into this now. Mm -hmm. So I gave him a talk and stuff like that. We gave him an introduction tutorial. So we're going to start off with Expedition. So me and Mr. Dixon, we're going to go two on two right now like NBA Jams. If anybody familiar with NBA Jams, this is how it is. So what you want to do is press X. Mm -hmm. Move any side you want to play. You want to play on the right side. You want to play on the left side. It don't matter. But on our view, yeah. the right is left and the uh, left the is right. right. <laughs> okay. Movie magic. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Movie magic. Make sure you leave a comment right now. Ask Mr. Dixon whatever you want to ask him. You know, related to uh, his profession in um, his profession in school education. Indeed. Um, Sixteen years in the game, y'all. 16 years, 16 years. 16 16 years. years. I know, he, don't excuse about the baby face, but yeah. yeah we we <laughs> living young, yeah, exactly. we living young, we living young. These kids don't know these days, man. Yeah. They want to live old, but we here living young. Exactly. So you want to pick your main characters, you want to pick your team. So okay. you could join me if you want, or you could go against me by moving on. So it looked like you got to join me. Yeah, let's game. join, let's join. So you want to join me? Up. All right, so Mr. Dick said he want to... We, he want to show you how we work together yeah. against the computer. Yeah. Okay, so if we lose, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go and check out the Knicks. I'm a New Yorker. Okay. I'm from the New York Knicks. As you can see, Mr. Dixon got the Chicago Bulls yes, hat on. Yes, sir. So let's show, let's, I'm going to show you a few people. He going to show you his roster of his team or whatever team he pick or the people he pick. He going to show you the roster and I'm going to show you the Knicks roster and any other team. So I'm going to pick. So we got Camelo Anthony, we got Derrick Rose, we got Noah, we got John Starks. We, wow, John Starks. Oh, yeah. And we got Patrick Ewing. Oh, mm. what? Will yeah. Frazier? Oh, we got Frazier. We got Frazier. 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 Actually went to his restaurant. It's a real nice, really? elegant place. On 10th Ave, right? On 10th Ave. Yeah. It's old school. It, makes, it, it takes you back in time, but it's still modern. You okay. Know? You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like New Madison Square Garden. Like you could tell, you could still hear the old ghosts, but you could see all the new technology surrounding. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I've heard really good reviews from it. Yeah, Master Squad is really dope. Okay. Like I, I go there for wrestling shows, so oh, wow, I got okay. to be on floor seats, and that was a first for me, a first time for me. And it was like I felt like I was the wrestler, like with so many lights, the crowd, like you feel like you in a in a whirlpool of people. Right. Like you just like this, and you sing it down, but you're not sinking in like in a bad way. It's like in a joy. It's like like 
Like it's just lights, the crowd. It's just crazy. This is an experience mm -hmm. you got experience with the garden. Then they got the whole bridge on top. Like it's really cool walkway. Wow. And then they got downstairs on the floorway. Where if you ever watch a Knicks game or a Knicks televised a game or any game, mm -hmm. they show you like the players coming through the locker and they have like a a, a double sided mirror where you can see the players walking and the players can see you. Mm. And and that was pretty cool because I got to see wrestlers like that. Yeah. So they allowed the fans and everybody to go to those places and check it out. So that was pretty cool. That's cool. That's what's up. That's what, yeah, I have yet to go to the garden. I've been to you Barclays. Been to the garden. We got to link up, yeah. man. We got to go to the garden. We yeah. got to link up. We got to link up and go to the garden. Let's watch the Chicago versus. Ooh. I watch any game. It don't matter to me. I go over there for hockey too, the Rangers. Okay. I even go to the Barclays Center. For uh, for the New York Islanders, what I fell in love with okay. New York Islanders crowd is just like it's like home. It's like it's like being in the in the wilderness and your moms or your grandma just finished making pie and you just about to go steal the pie and blame the dog. <laughs> like it's that crowd. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. it's a good home filled crowd. Yeah, yeah, that's that that that's that feels homely. <laughs> that's, that's how you gonna feel. That's how it makes you feel. Like, that's the difference between them and the Rangers. Rangers okay. is more corporate. Family home, uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Where the islanders is like just the underdogs, just okay. like we, just like the people. I'd rather go to this this hot dog stand before I go eat a hundred dollar steak. You know what I'm saying? It was that kind of crowd. See, and that's how like in Chicago, that's how the socks are like compared to because we don't have two hockey teams, we just have one. Okay. But that's how the Sox are in reference to like the Cubs. Yeah, y'all got the Chicago Blackhawks. Yeah, exactly. I'm a big fan of Chicago yeah, Blackhawks. Yeah, y'all, yeah, what? Them boys is bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them boys is bad. Was it, uh, was it Kane? Uh, no, I won't say, say John Kane, but it might, it might not be John you, you are, you right. You're yeah, right. John Kane, okay, yeah. You right. Yeah. You right. So. That boy's so. a beast. Yeah, man. But he beast. might get traded to the LA Kings. Really? Because you know the Los Angeles Kings is a, another franchise championship team. Like they number one too. Right. And then you got the New York Rangers, but the Islanders are right there. I've, I got a, I got a funny feeling that we gonna have a, a Mighty Ducks story. Okay. Like you dig what I'm saying? Like the Mighty Ducks back in the days with Gordon Bombay. Like we we the team that nobody believes in, and then we just gonna come out of nowhere and win a miracle like the Mets. Wow. And it was crazy is. Like growing up, cause I was in I was in Tennessee at the time. Uh huh. But like, I was a fan, and I was like a I was like a basic fan. I'll be honest. Okay. But like Pittsburgh Penguins was my team. Oh, if I had to put Kai, so, so Yaga and Mar Mario Lemieux. Ooh. That's 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 who I like That's in the some games. legends right there. Yeah, that's that's some legends right there. Yeah. But he went off to be in the Rangers later on. He did right. He because we always grabbing players from Pittsburgh. Always, okay. always. Yeah, but 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 as a whole, coming up, the LA Kings, you know, with Gretzky. Yeah, that's everybody. You know, yeah. that was like the team. And right. then he came to the Rangers, and that history Dang, was made that after that. Huh? Huh? A lot of people don't even remember him as an LA King. Really? I was like, what? how you? I, then that's when I tell him, I was like, how long you been watching hockey? Yeah, what? Shout out to all the viewers out there. I'm Rx Superstar. This is another episode of 93. We're streaming to you, NBA Playgrounds. We got Mr. Dixon in the house. We talk Sorry. about hockey, everything. Let's continue talking about. Um, let's play. Let's yes, get this game. Yes, 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 so me and you, uh, me and Dixon, me and Mr. Dixon, right now. I'm Patrick Ewan, and he's Butler. What's that, Jimmy Butler? Yeah, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. And we're going against the computer right now. So we're showing you a little bit of NBA playgrounds. It's like NBA jams. Oh, good shot. Oh, I got you. Ooh, that's how you. That's Pat. That's Pat Ewan. Come on. The only Nick I used to. Mainly respect doing the Bulls Knicks series. He's the second greatest player right after Jordan in that era. Yeah. That's been proven. That's been proven right there. I still say he was better than Jordan in a lot of ways for being a big man. You know, Jordan had speed over him because Jordan was smaller. Right. But Patrick Ewing could run with the uh, the, the, uh, the the little guys, big guys. It don't matter. Pat was all around. You know what? You know what's interesting about Pat Ewing, man, is to be like. No, oh, big man. The computer, right? right. Oh yeah. <laughs> what was crazy about Pat Ewan for me was he was one of the first, and I don't know if cats remember this, but he was one of the first guys, one of the first big men that I saw like shooting threes. Yes. And like hitting threes. Him in Oakland. Him yes. Him in Oakland. 
Because um, who started it? Um, Charles Oakland. Oh, Charles Oakland was shooting threes. Yeah, oh, oh Oakley. Yeah. Oakley, yeah. Oakley, Oakley. My fault, Oakley. Which, yeah, which is another cat I respect. It was, you know, like... The Nick was the team. Yo, like... But when it came to, like, Millennium Knicks, it's like, what happened? Yeah. First off, we don't... We don't most... Like, we got the most money in the NBA, right? Mm -hmm. We have... We have... We just rebuilt the garden. Like, we have the money, but what what's the problem is? It's, it's, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. when, when nobody's figuring out where is it coming from, because we get the management we need. We get the players we need. We get everything we need. But somehow, some way, it's not clicking. Right. So something is going on there. We need help. That's what we need help. No psychiatrist, no none of that's gonna help us. Not even Bill Gates is gonna help us. Yes. <laughs> we need to figure this out because you know we losing. Every yeah. other team around us is winning. Look at the Mets. They winning back to back. Yeah, man. Y'all got. Y'all y'all had y'all had y'all times, man. Y'all had squads. Like I mean, y'all got y'all got a Hall of Famer right now, Melo. Exactly, a living legend right now, a living legend. Living legend, man. You give him the players he want, and then. Nothing works out. Like that's what's what's going on. And then we keep getting players who's already like washed up. They're already injured, and you're just collecting the check. I think that's why they all come to New York and collect the check. Yeah. yeah. All right. We need to get back yeah. in this game. Okay. Oh, shot clock. It's all right. We're gonna win this. We're gonna win this. But it's just going on. I don't understand. Like. Every other franchise is winning their league and winning their games. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, they disrespectful. Oh, wicked on Oh, why he look like Rocky Balboa? Oh, that's a weak sauce right there. Oh, oh, what happened? Right, I was dead. I was like, I, I feel like I was jump. It's just like NBA jams. Like you yeah. were jumping at one point, or uh, one space, and then this is another part, part you jump in. Oh, good layup. So you got to be accurate. In this game, folks, you got to be accurate. You got to know when to let go of the button. Okay. So the only way that happens, this is why this game is great for friends and family. Make sure you share with friends and family. Make sure they share with friends and family. Make sure they tell, tune in and tell a friend because this is a game like you could play like Thanksgiving, family uh, reunions, grab the kids together, the adults together. Be like, yo, let's go play some NBA. Go to the man cave in your house. Oh, oh. Uh, enough of this. And also, you gotta watch the stamina in the game. The stamina on the bottom is red. When it turns red like that, you've been using too much of your turbo and your stamina. You always want to keep it yellow. Oh, nice. Boy, I got you. 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 See, that's the see what's cool. Proposal's like, what? You could do that? You could do that too. Also, I'm glad this happened. Because Mr. Just is like, okay, how did they do that? How can we do that? Yeah. So you see that meter ball that's above us? Once it get blue, yeah. the ball will turn and will turn into like, instead of he's on fire, yeah. that's basically like our super mode. Oh, okay. So basically, that's our super mode and stuff like that. So make sure you guys follow me on all my social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, RX Superstar. Subscribe to both my channels, YouTube and Twitch. Subscribe to both channels. Don't miss the plug with RX Superstar Tuesdays and Thursdays. Live from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Time, because we on the East Coast, at www.twitch.tv forward slash RX Superstar. Oh, we in this. Going up? Uh, get out of here. Oh, that go for it, go for it. Right that's it, that's <laughs> right, that's right. Go for it, go for it. Ah, uh, yeah. There you go, good one, right, good there one. Go. There we go. He's like, finally. Yeah, finally, got on the board. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So remember, you can push them to a circle. Yeah. Don't worry, folks, this is our first time playing this game. Trust me, we real good at yeah, these yeah. games. Trust me, I'm old school NBA jam. I'm talking about coin op. Point, you know, Woo! Meeting, meeting friends let them know, at, the, let them at, know. at the video arcade. Let them know. Let them know. You know, like let them know. They don't know. Yeah, like shout out to Barcade out there. Make sure you go support Barcade out there. Barcade is dope, dope spot. Yes, sir. Even if you don't drink, it's a cool place to go and hang out. If you like video games and stuff like that, go play some Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah. Oh, ain't no blocking those. Those are automatics. Okay. When you get those, those are automatics.
So the way we gotta get that is because we gotta be like synced with each other. Like we okay. gotta be on point with each other. Okay. Ooh, I had it. I had to show off. I had to show off. Nasty. Like we could go now. Okay. Getting personal out there. I just uh we just lost it. That crossover, you could call him the chiropractor. Oh, oh. Shaka gonna go off. Fires the jump. He's making that. Making his mama proud. Oh, oh, yeah, he got air on there. He got air there. they not exactly evenly matched. They can't all be nail biters. It's all right. We win and lose in video games. Yeah, yeah. But he does play basketball in real life, folks. I do. I do. I still am ill with the pill. There you go. Ill with the pill. I'm still ill with the pill. I play basketball. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I play a little bit. So that was expedition mode when okay. we worked together. Right. So now we show the folks head head on. Like we face off each other. All right. Face off. So you press X. Okay. So you'll move to the side or whatever side you prefer. And you pick your two okay. from any franchise you want. See, in mm. NBA jams, you couldn't do that. No, I couldn't. You only could pick a specific team and those players that's on that team. Yep. So in NBA grounds, you can actually make your two-man dream team. So you can kind of mash it, mash up. Mash up. There oh, you that's go. What's up. Yeah, yeah. NBA Jam, you had to stick with the original team, like whatever that team had. And then you gotta remember, Jordan wasn't on NBA Jam. Yep. Because he, he had a lic licensing agreement to uh to 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 basically. He was smart that no one could use his his logo, I, image, his I logo, mean. his image. Yeah. In any way without his consent. And that was it. And that's why he never been in the game. But. In the new remaster versions, he's in the game because yeah. they found a loophole that okay. they could put Jordan in. Because Jordan, no matter what, all those highlights and clips that we watch and and talk about his 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 his, his, his um, legacy so much, is owned by the NBA. Mm. So if they use that in the image of it belong in the NBA way, yeah, Jordan can't do nothing okay. because it belongs to them. And this is their way, this is their NBA Jordan that they're using from their tapes and stuff like that. And their franchise and contracts you signed from the past. Mm. Because those are still relevant. I tell people all the time, when you see franchise like Patrick Ewing, or everybody signs a contract in their NBA career. Yeah. Which they, you, their rights to the NBA. When you leave the NBA and when you do whatever you want after that NBA, then that's yours. Right. But if you have a contract at NBA, all that belongs to the NBA. Yeah, yep. And it's, and it's it's interesting too with the Jordan image. I, I saw an article. I read an article last week actually. Gary Payton. It was like some inter, uh, video interview he did on some show, like some sports show. I think I don't know if it was ESPN or not. But he was saying that the original coin op NBA Jam. He has the only coin op version that has King Griffey Jr. and Michael Jordan on it. Yeah. I was like, King what? Griffey Jr. was another one that he he. Cause Jordan, what Jordan did, and I'm glad you brought that up. Cause yeah. Jordan, what Jordan did, he made players more smarter about about themselves later on in the future. The how they gonna be, how they gonna be represented commercial wise. Cause if you look at Babe Ruth, uh, uh, and uh, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, all the people, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bo Jackson, all these people, you know, they they wasn't smart like that, but they got smarter when. They went commercial because they knew the value of their name and who they are. Right. Right. And, uh, and like I said, from what I've Just like, to let you know, I got Melo and the oh, same man. team. Oh, man. Just let you know that. Like, uh, we playing real out here, right here. Oh, we playing man. real out here. I'm going to rough up Melo a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 oh yeah, see that's what's cool about this game. Now we can play. We can oh, get that. Oh. See the difference when we yeah. play playing the computer? <laughs> I see. Uh, I still ain't going in. <laughs> but it gives you that whole oh, cool feeling of playing ball. Like playing ball. Even if you never played basketball in your life, this game will introduce you to it. So, you know, it's just a lot of things going on. Even in music, like, even in music, you gotta copyright your stuff, you gotta be careful, but later on, you gotta think about the future. That's why I tell people, that's why I tell people that the weatherman is a great person to let you know about the future, because they're letting us know ahead of time how the weather's gonna be. And a lot of truckers out there plan their trips because of the weather, man. And how climate is in the different states and different, um... Right. Oh, the humiliation. See, I'm gonna show you get to learn a lot, Mr. Dixon. Yeah, man. 
See, he's focusing the game right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We all know oh. here you gotta talk and play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> That's a rule in gaming too. Yeah. It's like, no, I don't talk and play, man. Yeah, like you see how this is a whole new platform, new feel. Yeah, but I like it though. I like I like the graphics. I like the playability. Uh, it still had the fun aspect of NBA Jam because that's what it was really all about, man. Yes. Like, NBA Jam was like you could play as your favorite player, but it wasn't so serious. You yes. Know? And that's what like NBA Live and all those platforms were about. For me, and my boy used to play that. Double A. Yeah, on Double A. You know, wow. we used to play those too, but it was just like with NBA Jam, you, you, you know, it was it, it, it was freedom. Yeah, it stretched the capability of just like what a player could actually in real life. Yeah, and that, and that just made it like anybody, like even if like you say, even if you were a basketball fan, playing NBA Jam was like you know. Your mom, if she, you know, she wants to say, like, what's this? Like, yeah, come on again, yeah, mom. Like, let me and show mom you would rather you sit there and play that than go outside. Right. But then again, if you had a basketball court in front of your building, and you was there all the time. See, this works, for, and this has also introduced people into basketball playing sports. Right. Because there's a lot of gamers out there that does that don't do activities, and I encourage them. You have to do activities. You have to stay alive. You know why you have to stay alive so you can keep playing your awesome game. Right. Right. So make sure y'all check out Focus Fitness, my blog that's coming out. Um, it was a, a special guest that was here last week. His name is um, Hiram the Champ. He's basically a personal trainer. Um, he encourages the Bruce Lee way, like the positive way, live right, live righteous. He helps out anyone. Anyone, he don't close his doors to nobody. So it was cool because. Oh, did he just, did he just, did he just glow uh, like Bruce Leroy? He's not that. Is not he that, dancing right yeah, now? Yeah, what? I'm like, I'm like, don't, don't, don't do that. Yeah, don't, don't Whoever, don't whoever that. put don't that, that for LeBron James should have never did that. <laughs> like, why would you do that? Like, you just made me upset. Like, I don't even want to play with him no more. Oh, Melo. See, Melo, Melo, I don't want him to leave. He don't want to leave. I don't think he does, man, because he's trying to get the Knicks a chance, man. He's trying to bring that 73 back. Like, we need a new championship. Phil did my boy Bogus. I'm not even, like, a huge Melo fan, but I respect him. I respect his boy's game. Exactly. And Phil, even though he's a Hall of Fame coach, he is not a GM, man. No, he's not, man. He's not a GM. He's not. He's a coach, and that, man. And that just tells you, like, you know, when we talk about education, certain things you think somebody would, uh, would be... Well suited for some, even in the same profession. Nice. Sometimes it's not. I believe. I believe it was just his name. That, right. continue. No, continue. You need I believe they got him along to use his name okay. to get everybody hyped mm. because that triangle formation wasn't working. You can't really use that in this day and age. That's mostly like you use the triangle formation like in high school, yeah. like to develop. Like to, if you do a, a, a triangle formation in this day and age, you gotta switch it up like football. You have to switch it up. You can't just have your whole team playing the triangle formation of defense or offense and then, nah, you can't. You gotta switch it up. That's what's gonna win it for New York. Like we won it when we had, when we, when we, first off, New York Knicks never won championship. It was the Knickerbockers. Let's get it correct. Okay. Let's get it correct. All right. Cause that's why we so, we're so like, not fiending or thirsty, but we demand. Like we need a championship. We need that Nick championship because because we only won it as a Knickerbocker. That's it. And the and the players who won it was 70s. That's what 50 years, 20 years ago. No, 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 no. We 20 we in the 20s. 70, 70, 30 years ago. Yeah, I want to say 30. I know, I know it's late like 70. That's always 40. I want to say 77. 77 years ago was it? Well, no, I'm saying like 1977. Uh, no, it was, it was like 1973 and 74. Seven, okay, and 72 see, we won. We didn't win 74. We won the Eastern see, Conference. My bad, Knicks fans. My bad. Don't, don't, don't grill me. <laughs> I keep going with the bullshit. Nah, it's okay, though. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. But, you know, but I like LeBron, so I, I'm going to throw LeBron in there. Okay. I, lo I like LeBron, the player, because he's done something that nobody's done. He wanted, He's always at the finals. No matter what, LeBron is always at the finals. Always, yeah. Always at the finals. Which is pretty, I mean, he's one That's what that button does. L2 and boxes, those are alley-oop. Ah. Uh, 
Uh, you gotta be at a certain place like Ooh, bullshit. Right there. There, there, you there you go. There you go. That was it. I'm glad you showed me that because I'm gonna use that. Right. Now. <laughs> sure. I showed myself. There you myself go. That. There you go. <laughs> Show myself that. But is this a game that you recommend for like old uh, old school gamers to re get into the game system? New gamers, like anybody, like fans, do you recommend this game? Like a family fun game? Definitely. Yeah, I definitely recommend this game because it, it takes you back to the old school NBA Jam stuff, but definitely has some added on additions, like with the crossover. Um, yeah, that's what this is crossover. Yeah, the crossover. And just like with the alley oop uh, uh, feature on there too. And then just like with the the be able to the mashup of like your team you don't have to yeah. just stick with one team's players you could do one one position at one team and go for another team so that's dope that is dope you know that's dope and then like you said it's just the cart like that whole kind of illustration the graphics of the game brings that kind of cartoonish feel yes where it's just like again it's not so it's not like if you're not a serious basketball head yeah you can you can still adapt to this and have fun with it. but this is not the first time nba has been in cartoonish because we got to think about space jam Oh, true. which we had Warner Brothers and NBA merge together to create. I think Space Jam is an awesome movie. Oh yeah, well, for it, all ages. Yeah, it is. It which, is. If you're not familiar with Space Jam, you're on the wrong planet. Get to the planet that you're on right now, <laughs> and go download Space Jam's. Not right now. Wait till after the show. Yeah, yeah not now. Don't tune out right now. Yeah. Just keep tuning in. <laughs> well, basically, what I was just showing right now is just these are how the cards look when you get them. They have special cards with uh, NBA Playgrounds logo on it, and then they got the red pack, which is like like uh, legends. Okay. So let's say Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, um, Clyde Drexler, um, Allen Iverson, which is one of my favorite basketball players of all Pete. time. They got Pistol Pete up here. Look at that. See, yeah. these are characters, like the Utah Jazz. Yeah. Look at that, the green yo, jersey. Yo, go. That's when they was like, yeah. That's when they was not. Look, John Stark. You got, you got like. And, and I want to say you all for the Pistol Pete one. Carl I want to say that's when they were like New Orleans Jazz. Yes. You know what I'm saying? New, you know how many times New Orleans has been re? Because now they New Orleans um, um, Pelicans. There yeah. was the New Orleans Hornets, mm -hmm. which was the Charlotte Hornets. Mm -hmm. like, oh man, it's just it's teams you don't see no more, folks. Like, I have an old school NBA jacket from 1996. And half those logos are not here no more. You got the, oh, the logo print. The joint. logo okay. print one. You remember those when yeah, it was I out? Do. And I then do. And then the Super Bowl copied NBA. Yep. And started making uh, Super Bowl co uh, jacket jack leather jackets. Logo, logo, logo. Yeah. I miss the 90s, man. Yeah. Eight oh, ball man. jackets. Um, wow, the eight ball. That was big. Uh, that, that was definitely big up here in New York. Because I remember seeing that on TV. Like the eight ball, the leather eight ball jacket. Yes. Like that was huge. Yeah, those fast. Speaking of a franchise that changed, the Brooklyn Nets was formerly the New Jersey Nets. Sure. Yep. Nobody thought Brooklyn would ever get a team. Because once the Brooklyn Dodgers left and the Brooklyn Giants left, because mm -hmm. I keep telling people that the San Francisco Giants was a New York team, mm -hmm. LA Dodgers was a New York team. A lot of stuff came from New York, folks. This is the place to be. So basically, I want to show people, this is like your stats, your trophies, okay. you leveling up in the game. Um, the, the stats is basically your points of what you need to work on, just like in any other NBA franchise game. Like you see my blocks, my steals, my rebounds, my dunks, my two pointers, three pointers. It's hard to make three pointers in this game. But once you, no, good once you got the mechanics <laughs> down, you got it. He shot a three on me. Look at that. I ain't shoot no three yet. You go on the tapes and you rewind this, the rewind this tapes. And if I'm going too fast, folks, remember you can pause it and read the descriptions and everything that's on the bottom. Also, shout out to all the YouTubers that's watching right now. Make sure you share with your friends and family. Tune in, tell a friend, leave a comment. Shout out to all the people that watch on Facebook. Shout out to all the people that's watching on Twitter. Well, basically, it's Periscope. And everything so right. I want to show them the tournament before we get back into it me and you one-on-one because -on -one, mm -hmm. we can sit here all day and just do that and Jimmy yeah. Java like you can learn a lot from my show from past president I mean past and present excuse me about saying president I'm a little sleepy I'm still working on the photo shoot I got the spider-man photo shoot pictures coming out soon shout out to Lou out there my spider-man oh, dude out there he's a real good cosplayer like he's like the undergrounds Mm -hmm. Like he like he puts on a suit, he goes he goes where he needs to be. And he doesn't right. slack or none of that That's stuff. That's good. That's what's up. He's a very positive person. And also BT said wrap it up. Don't become um HIV positive, become Indeed. negative. Indeed. That's the only thing you want to become negative in this world. Indeed. Wrap it up. 
<laughs> so this right here, this is the tournament where I was telling you. You okay. unlock these stages, unlock these um, parts of the world when you keep be when you keep playing expedition mode. Ex uh, uh, ex uh, Woo! No, I know, yeah. Tongue ex twister ex now. Yeah, Exhibition mode. Yeah. So when you play that, you unlock the places. And also, this is where you could play people online. So you could actually play somebody in Tokyo. Wow, okay. And you could actually play somebody in Shangri-La. Uh, Shangri uh, Shanghai. Shanghai. Yeah. Where, where they did Jackie Chan movie over yep, there. Yep. London, Paris. Uh, what is that? Maiden? Uh, was it Madrid, I think. Madrid? Yeah, Madrid. 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 Yeah. What's Madrid, Madrid again? Madrid. That's uh, Spain. 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 Yeah, Madrid, there you go. Spain. See, look. <laughs> Always teaching. Yeah. New York, of course, Chicago, where he's from. Yeah. Chicago, Homeland, Kanye. Yeah, Common. The Common. The, the bacon hot dog. Oh, man. The, the deep dish pizza. The deep dish pizza, yes. The best pizza. My bad, New York. I got to say it. The oh, best pizza. Oh, we can't say that, man. We can't say that because, <laughs> you know, we have a worldwide co uh, a pizza convention that comes here in New uh, York. You know, you, yo. come on. When you taste a New York pizza, you feel like you in a mobster or something. That's what yeah. I'm saying. New York pizza's dope. I'm not saying it's not. But, I'm just saying. It's that deep dish. It's just, deep dish. Especially when you get extra cheese on it. Yes. Yes. Yo, man. I really, I know. Yo. So then we can, let's go over to the West Coast. Right. Giordano's, y'all. Giordano's. Giordano's. Remember Chicago, that. Giordano's. Chicago, Giordano's. He just recommended a great place for you guys. Giordano's. So we got Venice Beach. We got Las Vegas, which I will be going there soon. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna have fun, and I'm gonna come back. I'm not gonna be like mayonnaise no more. I'm gonna come back, little Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> That's for one of the viewers out there. He called me like Sheamus because this is a wrestling WWE. He's pure like 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 white. Yeah. And they call him mayonnaise. So the one fan called me mayonnaise. He called me Super Mayonnaise. Oh, man. <laughs> but don't worry because I'm about to get dark in it. So I'm gonna be crispy. You know what I'm saying? Same. <laughs> come with that sun glow. So then we got Seattle, mm. the world famous Seattle Sonics, which is rumored that they might come back. Really? It's rumored okay. they might come back because... They got a lot of ballers coming out of Seattle too, like <sighs> in the past like 10 years. Oh man, even Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford. Well, I know Seattle Sonics from the last years. Mm -hmm. I'm not familiar with the, the franchise period, but mm -hmm. I know they have championships. That's what I understood about NBA. How can you get rid of a championship team? Yeah. Like I never seen you guys get rid of a championship team, so let's go in the tournament real quick. Okay. Let's check it out. Let's show them. So basically, any tournament you start off the bottom. So think of like um, let's think of tournament movies. Um, well, white man can't jump. White man can't definitely white man jump. White man can't jump. He got above game the yeah, he above got the rim. Yeah. Above the rim. So you start off the bottom. I'm not. Uh, I I think he could join me in this. Yes, he can join me. So you can do a two player tournament so we all learn this together right here this is why this is the plug with rx superstar tuesdays and thursdays from 6 to 7 p.m live www.twitch.tv forward slash rx superstar follow me on all my social media outlets facebook instagram twitter snapchat at rx superstar subscribe to both my channels catch every other episode of the plug with rx superstar one through 92 on my youtube page subscribe tell a friend i got 25 subscribers I'm 75 away from having my own URL because you need 100 subscribers to have your own URL on YouTube. Oh, wow. That was the rule that Google put. Okay. Because before you could have your own URL, but now you need a certain amount of followers. Hmm. That's to let, that's to tell you and to let Google know you're serious about what you're doing and this platform that you're using is a part of it. So just to let everybody know, Google is watching you all the time. So. If you think they're not watching you, they're watching you. So we're going to work together okay. in this tournament. We're going against Chauncey Billups and Grant Hill. Mm. Oh, my Lord. Dang. Two greats. I don't want to say Especially my, Grant Hill. I know. I don't want to say my age. <laughs> I, I want to go in because I was like, Grant, Grant Hill, like when we talk about college players, one of the best college players I I've in, ever seen. I was in elementary school when Grant, no, I was in junior high school when Grant Hill entered because yeah. he entered the same time as Jason Kidd, one of my favorite point yeah. guards of all time. Jason Kidd was, Jason Kidd. was nasty oh. at UCAL. Man, he was nasty oh. at UCAL, man. You know, and like Grant Hill, like Duke, I just so people out there know I hate Duke. Like I grew up like a UNLV, Michigan Fab Five, Georgetown, Georgia Tech type of, of fan. You know what I'm saying? I love Georgetown. Yeah. 
So like, Grant Hill was the, one of the only man, like a handful of players on the Duke squad. Especially at that time, he may have been like the only one. I respect it. That's that Bobby Hurley, Christian Leighton. Ooh, look at know. that. He's spitting knowledge yeah, to you guys. That, that's that's that era, that like, early 90s era. Like, you know? your new generation that's listening to it right now, you're going to go Google it. Google it, man. Or just hit him up. Eat him, email, email him. Hit him up on his Facebook. Matter of fact, we're going to give... Let's give them a, a shout out to where they could find you, where they could follow you at, and they could contact you if if you want to get into the school, if you want to get continue your learning, or you want a great person to talk to, or get an insight, of knowledge, for some knowledge of old school. Like mm -hmm. he's a great guy to talk to, and yeah, little. yeah, yeah, definitely. Your um, I mean, you can definitely reach me on. Uh, I'm on Facebook and Twitter. But if you want to just really drop me a quick line, Twitter's cool. So that my Twitter tag is KEZ773, which is K-E-A-S-Y 773, no spaces in between. Um, and I'm also on, heavy on Facebook, and it's just my name, Kyle Dixon, K-Y-L-E, D-I-X-O-N. Uh, if you have trouble maybe finding me, you may have to put in my uh, company name that I work for, Precise Minds Film Works. So that's a company I call. He's also a photographer and a videographer, folks. I did a shoot with him a long time back yeah. with one of those dancers. Uh, I forgot his name. Yeah, Kelly Peters. Kelly Kelly Peters yeah, by was Hollywood, the by Hollywood. Hollywood. Hollywood was yeah. the dancer. Everybody knows Hollywood if you follow him on social media. Yeah, because he's in the Diddy joint, right? Yeah, he, he, did, he blew up yeah, after that. Yeah, after he met, I think. I see. It's a thing about me. <laughs> And I say this to everybody, even he could tell you in class when we was telling you, it's just something about me. It's like when you meet me, it's like something happens to you. Like you like you just like you get enlightened or you just stay committed and focused on what you're doing and then it a door opens for you. Yeah, yeah man. So it's some good popcorn. It is some good popcorn. <laughs> so yeah, you also you can reach me, drop me a line, you know, if you got any questions about, you know, just what some of the stuff that we're talking about here in this chat. Or just like stuff with education, like I said, I'm an educator for 16 years. So if you have an idea for like certain things like dealing with film and video, or just like where to navigate your way through school and education. Because a lot of times education is a thing that people look at in our communities as something that's like outside of the norm. And education is something we learn every day, all the time, 24-7, 365. Whether it be playing video games, talking about basketball, streaming, streaming. You know, learning technology, running your own show. Your own show. So it's everywhere, y'all. You learning just have to the learn instrument. To, learn the instrument. You just have to tap into This is the instrument. Indeed. Indeed. So that's really it, you all. I just keep it basic, keep it plain. Uh, but I'm always willing to build with somebody who's also trying to build as well. So. And that's what the plug with Arvin Super is all about. Is like anybody, if you into something and you focus on it and you have no way of like reaching out or where to go or how to plug in your stuff, contact me. Contact me, email me at rxsuperstar@gmail.com. All the information he just said about himself and all the information I said about myself will be in the description on the bottom right here. You could click the link and it will directly take you to his link. When you read, when you hit the description on my link, it will direct you to my link. So make sure you check those descriptions out, follow him, contact him let's do this let's get into this game sure. but that's what and then I got one more question to ask um how does what you're doing with the whole education uh, how does the geek culture the pop culture influence you to teach the next generation or somehow some way you use the pop and geek culture in your learning tool or or in your way of life hmm well as I stated before like knowledge is all around you and it's right. just how you access it so with me using like pop culture and like music video games movies TV shows it just relates how knowledge is all so connected. It's like the things that you learn in the classroom are not just in the classroom, they have to come from somewhere. Yes. So don't think that just because you're learning in the classroom, other people haven't learned that particular thing as well. Yes. Or relate to that particular thing in a certain field. So for instance, when we talk about, I think I remember one time we were in class, I think we were talking about The Godfather, I think. Yes. I think it was. And it's like, it you know. caught everyone's attention in that room. No matter what age difference, The Godfather is universal. Classic film. 
classic film. So when you want to talk about certain, maybe like how they wrote the script or the dialogue, yes, you know how certain characters are conveyed through the storyline, mm -hmm. you know, and then when you maybe get into like maybe the media and film part of it, like how uh, how certain lighting and certain scenes create a certain mood and tone. Yep. You so, you learn. I'm sorry. You yeah. learn about templates. That's what, exactly what it's called. Once you learn that word templates, like that's basically uh, uh, it gives you a body frame from intro to the ending from intro to outro and then whatever's in the, and in the middle is the body so uh, what he used to say and i still use today is the meat and potatoes meat and potatoes it's like the way you're serving your, your 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 food to your guests so you got your appetizer your main course and you got the dessert Right. Your appetizers is basically your introduction. Welcome your story. to the tournament, everybody. I the, uh, the main course the is basically your meat and potatoes. And, and then go. your dessert is the ending of it, the conclusion of it. It's the most of the dessert we've already had the main course. Yeah, exactly. But you never know that dessert could be the top. It could be better than the main course. Because there's a lot of desserts out there, I could tell you, like Dulce de Leche. Or three, three, uh, three, uh, three uh, milks. Uh -huh. Do some leche, like, yeah, I could forget about spaghetti's real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, we said, and also my show. That's how we explain things because we, like, you use in the classroom, you use the, the movies, the music, the video games, because you gotta remember, it's, it's school, the video games, and all this stuff is evolving. But all this come from school, because school is always evolving with different generations. Right. So, like what he does, Mr. Dixon does, he incorporates the geek culture, pop culture, and stuff like that into his learning, so people could be aware, like, like, like make them understand a little bit better. You know, of this, like he was saying, this is how you make a movie, this is how you make a script, this is what you do, because without you knowing. You're watching these movies, you're learning what you're supposed to be learning in school, but when you get to school and they start teaching you in the, in the way that you understand, you be like, oh, I remember this from The Godfather. This is how they wrote The Godfather and all that. Exactly. Oh, this is how you write a paper or essay for school. Exactly, just like that. Right, exactly. And when you think about, like, when you talk about Godfather, other films, or even TV shows, it's a basic premise. Like you have, the like, Flash, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, oh, DC. Yeah. But, uh, but school helps you with that because it makes oh, you right. understand. You have to read. You have to put stuff together. Yeah. Like if you're a cosplayer, like the cosplayers out there, I, I commend them and I respect them even more because it takes a lot of work for them to design those suits. Exactly. And if something happens while they're displaying the suit, they got to have their kit ready. So that involves what I say like in a blacksmith, crafting, so you become a craftsman. Mm -hmm. And that's what basically they, come, they become is a craftsman. And you know, and then when you look at craftsmen and stuff like that, you think of theater and drama. So everything, like he, like Mr. Dixon said, everything is knowledge and everything works together. It's all connected. You just gotta have the mindset to understand it. You know, and if you don't understand it, ask for help. Always ask for help. Indeed. No Always. One, no one, no one gets there alone. A lot of times people say, you know, self-made man or self-made person. No one gets there completely alone. It's a group. It's, it's a group. It's, it's a team. It's a team. There's no I in team. There's no I in team. Whether be unless you unless you're spelling it in another culture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we're not talking about that right yeah, yeah. now. <laughs> and I had to say that because one foreigner said that to me. He was like, "You Americans, we don't spell team like that." Yeah. We have an I in I our never, team. I like, never thought what? about that. That blew my mind. Yeah, like, yeah. he's right. He is right. I was like, he's right. So I was like, okay, I can't use that term no more. Yes. <laughs> he is right. I, I, yo, man. That's the way the world, everyone changes us. The culture, every culture from around the world changes us. Yeah, that was a little disrespectful yeah, right very there. Very disrespectful. That was very, see, he even co-signed on that. Very. You see that? See that? Now I gotta get this. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, oh. you gotta get a facial. See, we play against a computer, so and what's crazy is this is not on the hardest difficulty too either, folks. This is on easy. Yeah, we playing this on easy, oh, and they're killing us like this. Oh, man. So we got a viewer out there, and we got a comment. So it's the co-host Bozzy out in the, in the chat room. Shout out to Bozzy in the chat room. He says, he says, boom shaka laka laka. <laughs> Now that's a term right there, boom shaka laka. Yes, what was that, Shaq? That was your kill yeah, legal, right? You got a hand at a rocky cradle, spit you like cheese, heard you on my bagel. Hey, yeah. see? 
Yeah. Wow. Are you jealous punks can't stop my dunk? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Wow. Yeah. That wow. joke that joke had heavy bass to it too. That's when Kazam came out. Was Shazam when he played as Shazam? It was right before. Right before, it was right? Before, that was a single. He did a he did a diss track on Kobe. That's when him and Kobe was having oh, yes. a downfall. <laughs> That's when they was having a downfall. Yeah, man. That that whole dynamic, that relationship. Dude. But they cool now. Yeah, now. Yeah, they cool now. Now. But you know it's the spirit of competition. It is. It was, they it wanted is. to see who was better, who was really the Lakers franchise. And they both was. And they both were. But they I, both were. But, but, but I have to say, that was Shaq's team before Kobe's team for sure. Like, like Shaq, I don't think Kobe, even though Kobe became one of the greats, I don't think Kobe would have won those first three without Shaq. No, and Shaq could have won it without, without Kobe. Because you got to remember when, when Shaq went to Miami, Dwayne Wade was just like young Kobe. Right. And that's what made him go over there. And he knew he could win it with Dwayne Wade because he had the skills to do it. Flash, yep. The kid Flash. Flash. Because it was still in Flash. I still have a Dwayne Wade Flash t-shirt. Really? Because they got sued for that. Oh, really? I didn't know that. They got sued by DC for that. Because I was wondering why he never really officially like put it out majorly. Shaq could use steel because he was still in the movie. Right. That's a lot of, ain't that never, crazy? Never, sports, um, sports, um, celebrities did movies, TV shows, and they still do it today. Still do it today. Listen, man, I'm telling you, like, that's one thing about Mike that people don't talk about. Like, I hate to go back to Mike, because I mean, he Nah, we talk about anything. Yeah, but, cool. yeah, but it's like, he helped us up on that stuff, man, business-wise. Yeah, they, yeah they, they, they trying to get loose on this. They trying to get loose. They think it's, they think it's a game. Up, going up, Oh. So you gotta be accurate with the with the Duncan and you can't hold the button. And I keep holding the button. Uh, yeah, we lost. Yeah, That's what happens, folks. Make sure that you play these tournaments. You gotta make sure you get into it. You gotta play. You know, we just showing the do demonstration after the you know, after the show is over. We get into it. Yes, yes. You know, it's a learning curve, folks. It's a learning curve. So, so we got more comments out there from Bozzy. All right, he just gave it a shout out in the chat room. Word, but shout out. He gave a shout out to Mr. Dixon right there. Shout, salute. Yep, salute we on Bozzy. episode 93, Bozzy. 93, and nobody thought it would be, nobody thought we'd get past the first five episodes. You gotta have a game plan and stick to it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that was one thing you all like, you know, when Hector and I met at, at the school was that's one thing I noticed about him that he was really eager to learn and pick up things. Yeah, I'm a, that's learn. my name, my government name, Rx Superstar. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Rx Superstar. <laughs> so my man Rx here. You know what I'm saying? He was, he, you know, he he taught me a lot because he was really like he brought in a lot of good energy. Really? Yeah. Cool. You did, man. You did. You brought in a lot of good energy and again a lot of pop culture things and just like cultural things like with music and things like that that you were hipping me to mm -hmm. what was going on like you don't want to tell me about the whole thing with uh I, and i'll never forget this you told me about because I'm, I'm a i'm a juice fan i love the movie juice yes so you was telling me about how they were shooting scenes yes. in harlem and like yes. where they were at yes and i'm like and i'm ahead so i was like okay they did it here okay i'm gonna go over here oh they did over here dixon they don't do, that place doesn't really too much exist anymore in the same way mm -hmm. so it was just like because people don't realize like being a transplant coming to New York, like the things that y'all take for granted that people see like on films, like, oh, they it's it here. you know, it's like, because it's just, yeah, exactly, they take it for granted. Yeah. Like they don't know the history, like you have to know your history. Yeah. Like our grandmas and grandpas tell us this, you have to know where you come from so you know where you're going. Yeah. And I come, we come from like very old school, like moms and dads don't play. Mm -hmm. Like all that cursing and foul language, no, 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 no. no. No, no, no. Yeah, you get, you get, yeah, you get, no, you get disciplined. Yeah, yeah, my bad. No, I'm not promoting. This. Nah, we don't. Nah, they know yeah. that we don't promote violence. Yeah, here. Only in video games, right, right. we promote violence, <laughs> right. but we don't promote that in real life. Nah, nah. We we're grown men now. Yes. So our parents, we they can't get in trouble. Right. You know. Right. But yeah. the parents out there that's doing that, stop. Right. Stop, because don't you're gonna get in trouble later on in the future. They're gonna the, the government is gonna come. They're gonna have this button for children to press. And you're gonna get in trouble. Yeah, yeah. So Bozzy laughing out there. <laughs> Cause he know he come from that age too. Yeah. His mom still don't play that. <laughs> so
So enough stalling, let's get into this. And then, you know, me and Mr. Dixon, we get into this, and then we end the show. But you always welcome back to the show anytime you want to, Mr. Dixon. Like, you more welcome. If you know anybody who would like to be on the show, that's doing positive things out there, that, that brings in the geek culture into whatever they're doing passionate-wise, you're more welcome to come here on the Plug with RX Superstar. Well, appreciate It's a great format, man, because uh, the fact that we're mixing, like, the game in, we're talking about, like, pop culture, and just, like, you know, just the, just the stuff that inspires us and just how things are connected and things that help us to be more creative, you know, in a, in a, in a positive way that we can show other folks. Wait, are you in the awesome, game? Man. I don't think you're in the game. Yeah, I don't think I'm in this game. Yeah, we have to restart. Yeah, we got to exit this. He's not in the game. I was like, why am I passing right, the right, shack? And I'm playing... So I'm on a bench right now. I'm on he the on the bench right now. He tell he on the bench with the news ca uh, reporters right now. Yeah, yeah. They give me a sideline review. But well, yeah, but, uh, this is. <laughs> but this is. <laughs> but this is the boo. This is the boo right here. Okay, so now, now, here we now go. we can go. Yeah. So let's think about this. Let's think about this now. Because okay. I'm thinking, let's do uh, LeBron James and Kevin Durant right now. Oh. I'm thinking of that let's right go, there. Let's go. Let's go. I'm thinking. So I'm gonna pick LeBron. Okay. And you pick um, Kevin Durant. I go with KD Durant. So KD is on this one. He's at Oklahoma. Okay, still so, okay. And so. they make the switch yet to Warriors. Okay, because I was gonna ask, how, how do they update or do they? Update? They do update this, okay. but that you have to wait for the update. It's like any other game, you wait for the update to come. Okay. Or you could go to your local uh, wherever the information you get from games. I can't mention the, the companies; uh, they will block me. Okay. But you could go online and you could find out uh, the strategy guides and also you can find out release dates and updates of whatever game you playing okay okay so i, I got a story about durant too yeah tell let's go okay. tell him okay. tell him you right. was out there well, my story about durant is crazy because it's a story that really didn't happen but it did happen Okay. So when I first got hit in New York, you know, of course we talk about the Rucker. Yes, you know, Rucker is Park is still today NBA players and people from around the world come and play once a year. It goes down. It just happened recently. Okay, yeah. So like it happens every. Some Even in Dykeman, Dykeman, Dykeman nice too. Dykeman too. But isn't that crazy that the Rucker? That's from Harlem, and then we got the Dykeman Court, right? I forgot what it's called. It's no worldwide. 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 No joke, no, no nothing. Worldwide. No extra, no. Like, if you ask somebody from another country that's into basketball and there's a superstar over there, and if you mention Dykeman, the courts, or whatever the name is, and then Rutgers, they're going to be like, yeah, I played there, I've been there. But they're going to speak to you in their language. Mm -hmm. Worldwide, man. Worldwide, world renowned. And it's in the hood. It's in the urban areas up. <laughs> that people don't even like coming to. But then again, you live here and you go to school here. You work here. Come on. Straight up, man. So I got New York. So the story I have with Durant is crazy because I, I want to say it was 2012. Mm -hmm. I went to Rucker. I think I want to say maybe it may have been a Wednesday. Um, okay. But I went. I went. Give the full detail. Yeah, I, 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 I want to say it was like a Wednesday. And I went, and it was like a good game going on. It was like a good, solid game. It wasn't any celebrities, but it was like guys that uh, guys that were playing a cast me in the hood. But I wasn't familiar. But it was a good game. So, yes. So I was like, okay. They said, oh, you know, Durant might come tomorrow night, and you know, you know, be sure to be here on time. It's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. And I'm like, okay, all right. But it wasn't like guaranteed though. Yes. From, from the way I took it, yes. you know. Because with these, because with these NBA celebrities, their time schedule. You don't know. Right. So sometimes it's just like right then and there. Like they just got off the plane, put the jersey on, let's get into it. And they could be jet lag and still give you 110%. Yeah. So let me tell you this. So I think it's a Thursday. It was, it's the next day for sure. The next night. And I'm like, okay, you know, I worked that day, early that day. And I'm like, I'm in Brooklyn. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like in Brooklyn. And I'm like, man. They said Durant might come, but I don't know. So I'm kind of, you know, to be honest, I'm, I'm you optimistic I'm, right I'm, now. I'm, I'm, I'm a little optimistic, but I'm like, I'm feeling a little lazy. I'm like, okay, I don't want to go up there and he's not there. Yeah. So what ends up happening is Kevin Durant ends up breaking the scoring record. <laughs> like, what, I think it was 67 yeah. points uh -huh. that night. Uh -huh. And I was I know like, what he was talking about. Yo. Because it was on ESPN that same night. Yes. And he, he still has that record still today. Still has it. He beat Kobe's record. Beat Kobe's record. In the Rutgers. New York City. Harlem. Exactly. 
I was. I That's was, why KD gets sick. respect. I was sick, man. I That's was why sick. he need to come to New York. They won their rings. Come to New York now and help Melo. Melo would love that. What? Man, that, that, that tandem? Man. man that would be a... That would be the monsters. Yo, man. Like, because there's rumor too that Curry, like he's thinking about helping another franchise out. Because they all grew up watching the Knicks and Chicago Bulls. All the greats from all the golden age. Yeah. Like Carl Malone, um... Um, Carmelo, John Stockton, um, Jordan, Pippen, um, who else I mentioned? Shaq, um, Gary Payton, um, who else? Who else? Um, Larry Bird. No, Larry Bird is more old school than Golden Age. Yeah. Well, you gotta. Well, you know, he bled into that Golden Age because uh, you know he started. You know, him, Magic. They, in, in like the yeah. three point shootout game, like yeah. they the ones who told you right there and there is like this is how you win games, the three pointers. That's how you really win the game, the three pointers. Man, Bird used to get I did like, not expect sick. I mean like cats in the hood didn't want to give Bird props, man, but yo, he could play ball. Like he used all his body, even though he may not have been the fastest or the or the, or the most agile dude. Larry Bird was the great white hope. Yo, man, the boy exactly played. Ball. Shout out to all the viewers out there. I'm already superstar. You're tuning to another episode. This is Tuesday's Let's Play Some NBA Playgrounds, and we got a special guest in the house, Professor Dixon. It'll be in the house, folks. And we playing our playgrounds. He's Kevin Durant, KD, and now I am LeBron James, a.k.a. LeBron Brick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a nickname he had for a while when he kept missing those threes. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. My boy. Back so, in Chicago, we got, wait, we got somebody in the chat. So, we got somebody named Ching BXX can say, can you go against me? Yes, you can play this online. And we could go head to head with each other. We could play against each other in NBA playgrounds. So we got a new viewer out there. Make sure you share my stream with your friends and family. Make sure you share the stream. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and never miss an episode of Plug with RX Superstar. We lost? At least we didn't lose bad this time. Yes, yes. At least we didn't lose bad this yeah. time. By 15. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I, I'm not, I know I'm not using the Nah, it's okay. Basically, we playing like every other player out there that plays a new game. And then they, they master their craft. Like, I'm mm -hmm. a black belt in, in pro gaming. Mm -hmm. like, like, that's me right there. So, we're going to get out of here now. So, you can also fly across the, uh, fly across the other, um, countries and states and let's go back to expedition so me and mr dixon clyde so we could all go into the last game then we're gonna say goodbye to everybody even though we got this flood of viewers coming in right now mm -hmm. but you could watch every other episode and this one on my youtube page subscribe the description is going to be at the bottom at the end of this video so like that you guys don't miss the plug with RX Superstar, 6 to 7 p.m. live Eastern Time. I say Eastern because we're on the East Coast. Because then you got Central Time. Then you got the West Coast Time. Mm -hmm. And then. then the Central? You said Central? I said Central. Okay. But what was it called? Overseas Time. What was that? Because um, cause we're at daytime and over there right now is nighttime. Yeah. So I forgot what that's called. Day. <laughs> yeah, basically, and they're a year ahead of us. Yeah. Actually, no, we found out. They found out in the study, they're two years ahead of us. What? They're two years ahead of us. Wow. And China's one year ahead of us. Really? That's why that we get all those technologies. That's interesting. And Germany is like right here with us, right here. Mm -hmm. We're always a race with them. It's always the tortoise in the head with them. Always, but we're always the tortoise. We always come out victory. Say, I'm always, it's always learning. Always. Always, always, always learning. Always building. Yeah. That's what we was here for. Mankind was here for. We're here to learn and study from, learn from each other. Like, I always have this theory. No matter what you are or what you're doing in the world, wherever you come from, religion, or whatever you choose the path to be, 
the higher beings, God, whatever you want to call them, all have us here on earth. And we all got to figure it out before it's too late. That's what I always feel. Mm. We got to figure this out because we're all here for a purpose. And we're not the only species and beings out there. Uh -oh. So, if we got a culture, another race out there, a planet that's all in line with each other, and they all look different, but they're all in unity, and they come try to come with us, we're not in unity. Mm. The only time America or the world gets in unity is that we go to war, and we shouldn't have to be like that. True. True. Okay. No. All right, I'm gonna preach, but <laughs> I try to, man. I try. I speak the positive. Man, being around Mr. Dixon, I got to speak uh, to two classes. My former classes was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And it, it helped me develop myself as well of uh, being a speaker. And that's why you guys, I can speak very well to you guys and communicate and play, play and talk at the same yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to master that. So, so we're gonna get into this last okay. game. Ooh, I got old big old. Okay, big We're gonna get into two more last games. So right now we're gonna pick you pick whoever you want, and then the last game we pick, we pick our teammate, our team, Chicago versus New York. Okay. So right now I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna go crazy. A legend up. I got, the, I got, I got Dr. J and I got the Big O. You know, the trip, the the the, the triple double man. He got know? Julius Irving. Come on. Yeah. yeah oh. Like, come on. Like, yeah. come on. Like you cheating? <laughs> There's no Jordan in we'll, this. We'll see if I can if I can use him properly. You know what I'm saying? So we'll I'm looking see. for Kobe Bryant because I seen Kobe Bryant in the cover, and I'm I'm like, where's Kobe Bryant? They got Nick Young here. Yeah. They got Kobe. Nick Van Ex. I was gonna say they got Nick Van Ex. <laughs> I, I believe he's here. I believe he's here. For, the, for yo, for those y'all don't know that name, Nick Van Ex, go look up that dude. Yes. He was nasty. He he was when the Lakers when Magic initially retired. The Lakers went through a down period, like all teams do. Like the Bulls are going through it right now. And like, he was, him, Eddie Jones, um, Tim Duncan, remember yeah, David Robinson? Oh yeah, David Robinson, the, the Admiral. Admiral. The Admiral. That man was a beast. Yeah. Yo, if y'all go back in the Shit. NBA Dream Team and see what he did, Yo. oh man. Yo. I'm sorry for cutting you off. No, no, no. Cause I was sitting here no, like, where's he's Antonio great. Spurs? And then I found him. He's a great. Like you said, is the, you think Tim Duncan is great? Go back and check the Admiral. For sure. For sure. But yeah, Nick Van Exel too. Nasty with the pills. Yes. He had a nice jumper. Had some handles. He was an all-around player. When you have an all-around player yeah. in the NBA, they become great. Like LeBron James. Like, he breaking records. Like, you could say whatever about the man. But his skills and the way he took his career is like he took all the legends' career. He created his own legacy. Mm -hmm. uh, he's we breaking records of, of New York every if you're a playground legend, you like to play here. You name it, he's breaking it. Yeah. He's breaking the records of all the classics of legends that we're talking about. And it's great to be back in New York. To me, Kobe Bryant, like everybody says Jordan's the greatest, the GOAT. Mm -hmm. To me, who took off who took um who like after Jordan, who's yeah. the GOAT after Jordan? Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Yeah, Kobe he, Bryant. Yeah, man. even though I, I'm not, def, I'm definitely not a Kobe fan. I thought he whined too much in the playoffs, but Kobe's skill is like outside of Jordan. After Jordan, definitely, definitely. Kobe, I gotta give it to him. I gotta give it to him. Cause Kobe, I'm gonna pause it real quick because I, I love Kobe Bryant. I okay. want to meet him before we leave this world. Okay. Kobe Bryant was number 24. Jordan was 23. I have a theory that every goat from 23 after 23. Is gonna follow the line. So you got Kobe, who was 24, later on changed his jersey to another number. Am I correct? Right. To 30 something. Was it 30 something? 30? <coughs> Kobe? Yeah, Kobe. He no, changed. It went from 8 to 24. 8 to 24. Oh, yeah, excuse me. I yeah. thought it was the other way around. So his first jersey was eight, right? Right. That's when he was on Moesha. He was young. Right. <laughs> he had the, he had yeah. the hair. Oh, Moesha, remember Moesha? Moesha? Yes. <laughs> Cause Brandy, y'all, Brandy. Brandy, Brandy to sing out there, Ray J's um, sister. Yeah. You got to say Ray J, because got... Ray J's relevant oh, now. Man. But uh, Moesha, you, I'm, a, I'm about to school you on something. So, okay. in Moesha, you remember Moesha. I know you grew up watching it, too. I remember Moesha. So, in Power Rangers, right? When Power Rangers, the Zeo came out. This is when they got the Zeo crystals. You're probably not familiar with it. I'm not familiar with that part. But uh, the, 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 the girl who played the Yellow Ranger there, 
was uh, uh, a black uh, Power Ranger mm -hmm. who played the second Yellow Ranger in that series. When that series of franchise was over and done with, she went off to be in Moesha, and she was Moesha, not the big girl. I forgot the uh, not the big girl who was her best friend. Yeah, um, the other one, the skinny one that was ditzy, and she was like slow. Yeah, and that was a Power Ranger. Wow, I didn't know. Now you know. I, wow, I did not know. So that. now when you look at that episode. You gonna be like her name is Nikita. Her real name is Nikita. You are gonna see in the description when they you give the persons their names, all the yeah. credits in the back. You gonna see Nikita. Something with a B. Her last name is with a B. I forgot the last name. Wow. Don't get mad at me when you see me on the car. I forgot your name. Don't. don't <laughs> we in the live show. Right, right. A lot of things is processing. Right. Don't get mad at me. I still want my autograph. <laughs> but um, you'll see her mm -hmm. and, and a lot of Power Rangers. Of that generation, 90s, which blew up, went on to other franchises like Family Matter, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Cooper. Um, the, the original Yellow Ranger, who was the black, the first black um, Yellow Ranger, was in Hanging with Mr. Cooper. She mm. was in all those shows back in the days, uh, Family Matters, um, TGI Fridays, whatever was on there, she was on there. And Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger, was on there too. He played a bully. He went against um, Urkel. Remember Urkel? He had the chain, the transformation machine. Yeah. And he turned himself into Bruce Lee. Yeah. Remember that I scene remember that when he was in the park and these gang members came out of nowhere. I remember that scene, but I don't remember the. You he know, like, he fought this guy with long hair, a white guy with long hair, and he was the first person to, he kicked, and that was the original Green wow, Ranger. Wow, man. And then in that series too, in Full House, you remember on um, Goof Troop. I remember Goof remember Troop. Troop, the movie that yeah. some mystery that they don't play the original movie no more. You notice that they don't play the original yeah, movie. Yeah, no because they always play two, the second one. They always play the second one. The okay. reason why they don't play the original one because it was too much like copy original infringement that Disney didn't get the rights to, and they went along with it. For what though? From what? It was um, I can't say too much because I don't want to be blocked. Okay, okay. Oh, great. Uh, gotcha. And basically, it was a lot of behind the scenes paperwork and. Basically, that movie also had drawings in it that had like like drawings that shouldn't be in there that symbolizes stuff that you shouldn't be watching or your kids shouldn't be watching. Okay. And then they had a couple of messages in there that it wasn't suitable for kids. Okay. But the grown adults understand this movie, and we all know and knew that this movie wasn't for kids. It was for the teenage base or the '90s that continue and go. Mm -hmm. So you know that shit right there. So we continue. So that's the alarm right there telling us the show is over. The show is going on. So everybody knows how it is. Yeah, that's the alarm we have. Let us know that the show is coming to the end. We always have that here at the plug with all our superstars. So we get into this game right now. We could just sit here all day and talk about old school stuff, but we always encourage you go out there and read, be positive, all that stuff. And I got something to show you guys, so we take a little break right now real quick. Sorry about that, I'll take a little break. I wanted to show you before new comic book day happens, um, Boom Comics new Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic book that's coming out. This is issue one, and this is a special cover because it's got like an X-Men thing to it. So go out there and read Boom Comics new series, Go Go Power Rangers. It's a it's a cool story. It's new illustration. Um, I encourage everybody to go read. I encourage everybody to go read. Period. Indeed. Like this is what I go to comic book store. Lo support your local comic book stores. Midtown Comics. I'll see you guys soon. Go and support your local comic book stores. Read. Read is reading is fundamental, folks. Reading is knowledge. No matter what it is. Indeed. Like people will joke on me for this, but. If I tell them, here, open this and read this, they will not know how to read it. And, and just to just interject real quick, Rx, like, I, I promoted that in my classrooms, and I still promote that in my classroom. I learned how to bring up my reading levels through comic books. My mother used to buy me comic books during the summer to help keep my reading That's level. the same thing my mother did. You know? Because the words that's in the novel or the book out there is in the comic book. Yes, because what people don't realize, all these comic books that come out in different issues, like 10 issues, 16 issues, all get merged in together become a novel so you can go out there and buy it and read it from front to back yep. just in case you miss these issues and stuff like that you could just go to a comic book store ask them for a volume ask them for a novel or ask them for anything and they'll have it for you so i like i always give somebody i always give a guest here the public already superstar a gift 
And I give this Midtown comic right here a bookmark to Mr. Dixon because he's always reading and always encouraging people Dope. to read. Thank you, brother. And I, and I know you like Spider-Man, too. Yes, sir. So, that right is, there. Is Miles Morales? <laughs> no, that's not Miles Morales. That's the original Peter Parker. Nice. Miles Morales, everybody. I'm, su I'm surprised you know who Miles Morales is. Oh, man, you know, I got it. You know, I'm going to let you something. know about some Miles Morales. Miles okay. Morales is getting a movie later on. Oh, cool. Give it two more years. Okay. You want to read the comic books now. Because he's a very big character, and also you want to collect it later on, ten years, a little worth money. And yeah, you want to go to Midtown Comics, ask him about Miles Morales. Uh, some comic books there is like, like his first issue is worth twenty five dollars because mm. it's his first issue. Okay. It's his first issue, but they also have novels and also volumes that you can read and see the character as he develops in the Marvel universe. Because he comes from an alternate universe, what people don't know, he's it's, it's what's called Spideyverse. So Spideyverse is basically alternate realities of Spider-Man. Okay. So let's say we have a planet that's full of animals. Mm -hmm. There will be a Spider-Man there, but you want to think it'd be a Spider-Man. It would be a, a Spider-Pig. Okay. Because in the alternate reality, it's, he's called Spider-Ham. So it was. A, it yeah, was yeah, so think of Charlotte's Web. Charlotte, who's the 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 spider. She bit the pig who was Babe, and mm -hmm. then Babe became Spider Pig. But that's me telling you guys the real deal. But that, that, that's the concept of it. But that's not what they're gonna tell you where it came from. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what happened. Okay. Remember, Charles Webb is on the farm with the pig, the spider, and all the animals. Yeah. Basically, that's the storyline where they came from. I was like, wait a minute, this is Babe. I'm watching. I'm reading Charles Webb, but in the Spider Man way. Yep. So which was cool for me and then also Miles Morales comes from the same universe like us Except in his world Peter Parker's gone and died uh, He lost his life true. saving the city from the Green Goblin Okay So Miles Morales and Peter Parker knew that it was a Spider-Man Another Spider-Man mm. But before he could really like train him and all that stuff he was gone And Miles Morales is at a period of his life is like How can I live up to Peter Parker to Spider-Man how can I live up to this guy right here who paid the way for me? What am I wearing this suit for? Who am I? Mm -hmm. So then here comes a rip through the a rip through the time portal or whatever also reality. And here comes the original Peter Parker wow. to his world because he's chasing the Green Goblin because the Green Goblin was on the a path to create the ultimate Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. So the way he could make it was go to different realities and get their DNA. Wow. To create this ultimate yeah, Peter Parker, yeah, the Green Goblin yeah, and yeah, Norman yeah. Osborn. The way Marvel took his character is crazy because there's no more Norman Osborn. It's just the Green Goblin, and the Green Goblin hates everybody, and he doesn't care if he lives or die. He just wants the world to be in his way, image, or don't be a world at all. And then Miles Morales, he joins Spider-Man in his universe. Mm -hmm. And also other Spider-Man like Ben Riley, who's a clone of Peter Parker, but he's a bad Spider-Man. Like he was genetically made from Norman Osborn. And then this other, then this Venom, is Eddie Brock who came back and he controls the symbiote now, because the symbiote and him learned to be coexist. Okay. And then Tony Stark came, built the suit to help Eddie Brock control it completely. Hmm. So he has an exosuit under the symbiote now. Um, he has full control. Then Eddie Brock Venom wound up joining the Guardians of the Galaxy later on in the future. Wow. So you ain't know that. Nah, this I is didn't what know Marvel, that. This is why I encourage people, like when you watch these Marvel movies or shows, go where it originally comes from, go to the origin, and that's the comic book store. Then your mind is gonna be enlightened more of like, oh, I didn't know this character could do this, because Spider-Man, what people ain't know, spiders have a camouflage, um, Stealth built in their system mm. so they could blend in like chameleons. Mm. I found that out not through comic books but through a show later on. But I found out because when I read comic books and I and they introduce like an animal, I'll go and read about the animal so I can understand it more, right? So as you go on to meet people out there, it was like, What kind of spider was Peter Parker bitten by? He was bitten by a, a, a black, um. What is it? A widow, black widow. Black widow? Okay, he was yeah. bitten by a black yes, genetic yeah. widow. And a lot of people don't know that. That what, what, if you ask somebody, if you ask a, a, somebody, it was like, okay, what spider did Peter Parker get bit from? Mm. You wouldn't know that. Yeah. You just know he got bit by a radioactive spider. Right. What spider did they 
ge genetically enhanced that can carry that and bite people and make them into power, super mutants. Because it's not superpowers, it's mutant genetics. Yeah. And that's what's cool about it because then you learn about mutant genetics and then you start being, a, then you start getting into science. That's what I was about to say. It's, it's like I said, that's how it's all connected. It's all connected. Everything is all connected. Like it's Einstein said, everything is all connected. The theory of relativity, folks. Right. Like learn it, love it, embrace it. And, what I, and I think Einstein, because you know, I like to put the quotes up in my class. Mm -hmm. Einstein also stated the highest form of intelligence is creativity. Yes. You know, so, you know, so yeah. Never yeah. make fun of that, that cousin or classmate or friend who has an imaginary friend. Because that imaginary friend could be a billionaire that they imagine that could tell them tricks and trades. And you never know. I'm just saying. And also they could lead them to crazy. But we're not talking about the crazy. <laughs> we're just talking about the inspired positive vibes only. Positive vibes. So let's continue this. Okay. But that's basically the show is all about. It's like that. We let people know inside and then, you know, they get a knowing of us. Not what he had in mind. Okay, that was a horrible shot I just did. What was he thinking? Oh, oh let's go. Oh. oh, I thought I was that way. Yeah. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan going to the race. Ooh. I'm sad he's oh, gone. I'm sad he was gone. He got to get. That's why, his, that's why I picked Tim Duncan because I'm a straight Duncan on you. Oh, man. man. But Tim Duncan was one of my favorite players. Okay. Like a lot of people don't know that. I was like, I'm a real, I'm a low-key San Antonio fan. Okay. I've been a San Antonio fan since Dennis Rodman was there. Yeah. Maybe you should hit reset and just play easy mode. That was the team right there. Remember when they was winning championships? Yeah. I mean, the Spurs is one of the greatest teams to ever play the game, man. Exactly. They just weren't, they weren't an exciting team, but they were very efficient. Exactly. They were very efficient. And like Mr. Fundamental, aka Tim Duncan. Well, better known as Tim Duncan. Like, he's one of the greatest big men that ever played the game. Exactly. Like you, like, you have to give it up. I mean, the numbers prove it to, to themselves. You know? He was one of the uh, one of the big mans. Like, like right after Shaq. Yeah. Because once Shaq dominated um, his age, and his career, you never seen really big men doing it anymore. Except for Tim Duncan. But he wasn't getting acknowledged because he wasn't getting endorsements and stuff like that. But... That's what the basketball is now all about. Right. Basketball is about the game. About the game. Making history, making your legacy, paying the way, and respecting who 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 came before you. And that's what a lot of like new, the new the new generation. And this isn't me like being like an old, old new generation, but no, a lot of new generation get it confused because they're looking at more like the endorsements and like the money, the money and all that stuff. And Even though the money helps them out later it's on. It's good. Yeah, I'm glad. But get your money. Get you your, gotta get know your, your history. Gotta Whatever know your history. you do in life is always someone who paid the way. You gotta respect them. Just, if Eminem was on the Grammys and won that Grammy. And before he said anything about himself, he gave acknowledgement of all the rappers and people who inspired him to become the one of most, one of the illest rappers of all time. Right. Speaking, speaking when you talk about when you uh, the man DMC. That's yes. What, what you had, he had when you go to Comic Cons, you will meet the original like Run DMC. You will meet DMC. If you don't know who's that, Google him. Listen to the music. You, he became a comic book writer. He was always a writer. Always. But he loved comic books. He loved Stan Lee. He'll tell you himself, I love Stan Lee. Because he was a big, he's a big Spider-Man fan. That's what a lot of people don't understand. Spider-Man influenced so many people later on in life that they could be like, okay, this is acceptable in the world now. I ain't got to deny my geek side no more. Right. So he wrote his own comic book. And what's cool about DMC, they had a... Uh, they had um at the New York Museum of Natural Museum of History they had a uh, uh, exhibit giving back where comic books originally came from. Oh really? So he had a display up there, which I was surprised because he's one of the first black like writers to revolutionize and, and bring black and also awareness in the urban communities into the comic book world. Because we was already getting it from Spider-Man, Iron Man, the Defenders like Luke Cage, Heroes for Hire, stuff like that. Mm. But what DMC does, he embraces like what we're doing right now, yeah. he will write that in his comic book and make it relate somehow. And also in that exhibit, he had autographed Adidas. His hat that he always wore, wore I forgot what it was called, with those those bottle glasses. Yeah, he had all that sign and everything with his original comic book. 
And then that original comic book had Stan Lee's autograph on it. Stan Lee autographed it for him. Yeah. That right there is a million dollars, yeah, folks. Yeah. Yeah, Stan Lee. Autographs? Stan Lee. Yeah. And Stan Lee's retiring, folks. Somebody help him. He had to. He, he just lost his wife, too. That's what, yeah, right. That's so, what about a few weeks ago, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, last month he lost his wife. They lived into their 90s, man. He's still kicking. And he's still kicking. And he accepted that his wife is gone because he understands the human, the human, the human gene. Right. We don't live long, folks. We age. They just discovered a man who proclaimed that he was 215 years old. He was in um, he come from um Tibet, Nepal. Yeah. So you know a lot of and a lot of old school like. Like remember the Mummy Three, where they went to um, that's where the Yeti come from, the mysterious Yeti come from, and stuff like that. The Gorilla Man, yeah, the Yeti, all the yeah. all the myths come from from the pole. Sasquatch all came from the pole before it came to America. So hmm. that, that was our franchise game. That was our game we played against each other. Now we're gonna really play this game because you know we, we sitting here teaching y'all. You know this is what the show is all about. Mm -hmm. Make sure you check out my unboxing of Loot Crate. I also got the Loot Crate Ninja Turtle shirt on. Make sure you go check out my unboxings, RX unboxings. Also, check out the outlet where I show you uh, gameplay of beta of up new coming games that's coming out in beta format or oh, nice. in a demo format. So, I give an insider of them of that game and it's dedicated to that game. And I give them a brief to it so they could go check that out on outlet with the RX Superstar. Also, you can check out my cameos, music videos I've been in. Also, I got to be in a vlog of Jason David Frank's vlog, which was real cool. And, like, I respect that man a whole lot, man. Mm. So, let's let's play one more game, and then we're out of here. All right. Then, we see you guys out in the world. <laughs> yeah. But remember, the way you can find um, Mr. Clyde Dixon is right there. Read the descriptions on the bottom. Click on the link, it'll directly link you to, to uh, directly guide you to him and his page. You can DM him, continue your education, or if you want to chit chat anything he spoke about on the show, just hit him up and stuff like that, folks. Just hit me up, you know, I just drop a line or two, you know. New York want. versus Chicago now, now it's team versus team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm so going to pick Carmelo, I'm going to pick Camilo Anthony. Okay. And. Pick my favorite basketball, my favorite basketball player of all time, Patrick Ewing. That's my favorite, mm. one of my favorite numbers, 33. Right. If you play lotto, play that number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if you're in New York, please, please come to Clyde Frazier's restaurant. It's a real good place. It's not expensive, like it, people may see, because Clyde they ain't sell out. That's one guy ain't sell out, and then not sell out. Yeah. He still wears funky suits. Yeah, man, those suits are crazy. I want to rock that cow suit he wore. Yo, yeah, I was, you know, I was that's thinking. Fly. He got it brown, black, red. Okay, I thought he just had that one color, that that nah. white and that white and uh, black. Uh, no, nah, he black. has he has that same suit in brown and the same one in red. Wow. I'm like, man. man. I, that's what I yeah. said. Like, he's yeah. a fly dude. I forgot the name of the uh, announcer who passed away from cancer. Uh, but he had funky suits too. Oh, uh, Craig. Um, I forgot his name. Craig. Oh man. Stewart. Stewart. Um. Forgive me, y'all. Uh, forgive both of us because because yeah. the speech that he gave at the uh, what is it the yeah. I, I'll, I'll get it later. At, what is it the ESPY Awards that they yeah, did? The ESPY, yeah. He, SB. That famous speech he gave before he was in three weeks of, before he died, folks. The, the the doctor gave him after it was last Craig year. Craig Sager. Craig Sager. They gave him an ultimatum. He had three months to live. And that was in 2015, and he lived until 2017. Sure did. He changed his whole eating habits. He worked out. He used his money. He found the top doctor scientist to reverse the process, and he was getting that close. But you know, cancer is a very, very, very deadly disease. Mm -hmm. We gotta find a cure for it. Cure for AIDS. Cure for everything, man. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. cures matter. That's what I always say. Indeed. And a lot of those cures, you all. You know, begin with the diet. You know, what, what you're, what you're not only what you're taking in, but also what you're not. Yes. 
so. Like I would like people always bad mouth like the, the fast food industries, right? Mm. Like I get every other fast food really industry except shit. for McDonald's. Because McDonald's is sponsored by the Olympics and these are world top athletes. Mm. So, you know, and then we see these Make videos I saw online, around. you know, showing the bad outcomes and what's the recipe and the McDonald's burgers oh, and whatever, right? right? Mm -hmm. But when you think about the Olympics, these are world class athletes that have scientists around them. The best trainers around them. So if the food they intake in, that must be good for their body. Hmm. Hmm. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? It's like you're right. Why would the Olympics support something that would be damaging? Exactly. To, you, know, these you don't see Burger King. You don't see Wendy's. You don't see none of those franchises. All you see is is McDonald's and Subways. Oh, you do see Subways. Yeah. But isn't that crazy? That you see Subways first before you see like Burger King. Wendy's that's been around all this time. True. Or Denny's or or or, or Sonic. You know what I'm saying? You see McDonald's, just McDonald's. And McDonald's still selling the same thing. The Big Mac, the Nuggets. You know, the only thing that's new is the chicken wraps. Those those those, those the wraps. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, because uh I know what you know. Well I don't I'll shoot that three early <laughs> I haven't ate McDonald's in a while, like yeah. Cause what, after I saw, to be honest, y'all, after I saw Super Size Me, it was a wrap for me. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's when McDonald's long started long changing. Yeah, stuff. because after Super Size Me, but you gotta remember, Super Size Me, he was doing experiments and stuff for thirty days. Right. You or me not gonna eat McDonald's for thirty days. True. Not gonna do none of that. But there's people out there that that really yeah. eats that every day, and that was the for them to make them understand and change their eating habits. Like this is what happens. If you ever if you eat McDonald's for a whole year straight and you don't understand why you keep getting big and stuff like that, watch that movie. It's gonna change your way of, of, of thinking about McDonald's. But I have a different thought because I look at the, the Olympic athletes and looking at all the Olympic movies that came out and you see McDonald's there. And McDonald's is the big company. So and these athletes are training. And eating this food. Why would he even mm. show up today? So, they and then the people who supersized me wasn't training and eating this food. And eating it in a poor way. Mm. Where the athletes are showing you how to eat food like this, processed food. Mm -hmm. But in a way that you can stay alive and it fuel your body right. of what it needs. Right. Yeah, like everything in moderation. Look out for the break. Yeah. Moderation. Everything in moderation. If you're going to eat it. Definitely don't gorge on it, and this and this is gonna be a thing of moderation. And yes. again, like you said, if you're training hard as an athlete, you can you can handle some McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause your body would just really just turn that into like whatever it needs. You know, fast. Protein, exactly, whatever. fast protein, you know, sodium that sodium, you need. You yeah, do need yeah. sodium in your life. You need sodium. You do need Jump fat. You need sugar. sugar. You need salt. You need all, but not too much of it. Exactly. You gotta keep your levels, folks. Exactly. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go talk to the nutritionist. Yep. He's gonna tell you all about your levels. You gotta make sure your vitamin D level is, is on point because vitamin D is the solar solar rays that's enter your body. Just think of a plant. That's your body. You gotta take care of your your body. D, you are a living organism, so treat it as such. Oh, how they play me with that layup? Oh, ten seconds. Oh, go up. Oh, oh man, you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. That would have been so nasty. See, I got that down. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little flick of the wrist. Get out of here. I had to. I had to. I couldn't let you disrespect me like that. Oh, I was trying to do an alley. See, I got that down. Yeah, you got that down. Okay. Oh, you got donuts. You got donuts. He's not going to leave with a donut. Back to the shooting lab. Yeah, the shooting is off. Like the shooting is like you really gotta get down to it. Like, you gotta find your spot and shoot. Yeah. Also, that bar on the bottom. If you hit the yellow, you automatically make it in. Oh, okay. See that bar, that meter? Yeah. That meter right there. It tells you how to um, let go. Okay. <laughs> of where you need to be. So if you're on green, you're gonna automatically go and get it in. See the bar? Okay, I see. So yeah. now you hit the red, you went beyond it. Beyond it, yeah. Works it around. Oh, good one. I was trying to lay up. Yeah. Oh. Splash. 
So now I could do a turbo boot. Now I'm on fire. You see my sneakers yeah, just lit that. up. Those are the Patrick Ewins. Make sure y'all go check out EwinsAthletics.com. Trying to get sponsored by them. I love these sneakers. That's why I always wear them. Oh, oh. oh. I'm yep. on fire. Take me back to Q, you know. Yep. Oh my Sorry, lord! Oh my, oh my lord! Oh my lord! Yeah, that's what I always tell them. That's what I always tell my wife. Like, I'm putting on these white units and I'm out the door. So let's get let's give it one more go at this. One more, one more. Because I showed you the, the media. We showed you seen the media bar. You ain't know about the uh, the bar. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I thought Running you knew back. about the the meter. I saw it. I so that's the his. meter right there. Yeah. That's your old road. That's where you got to get it at. Run so, it back. Run it back. Let's run it back. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go back real quick. Yeah. Because now we got the open pack. So now we can show them what the open packs is about. Nice. We, we went beyond an hour, folks. It's okay. It's a great show. It's a great episode. <coughs> so, you look. You get your playing card. Mm -hmm. You unlock it. Press X. You get uh, selected of five cards. You don't know who. So, let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ricky Rubio, and you get your experience points as well, so you can level up. Level up. Okay. Trey Bill from the uh, from the Washington Wizards. That team got ch changed too. Jordan was on the Wizards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. For that he was not there. How cool it is, little scholar from uh, He's nice. I remember that he, was the cat that was with uh, LA, right? Yes. Yeah. He do. He's much better at at Brooklyn. Okay. So basically, that's the cards, and then you will go here, card collection, and go to the team that was just unlocked. Mm. But I have every team unlocked, so okay. you will go there and you check the card, and you will check the status, and you will see. That's how you do a comparison of like you pick your top two against someone else. Mm -hmm. So we're going back to the expedition. We're gonna get this game in. What side you want to be on? Left, right? Uh, I'll be on. I'll be on the side. I'll be on. Okay, so I'll pick. I'm going with the same team. Ooh, Let me see if they got it in Miami. Do they got Shaq in Miami? They got Shaq. They got LeBron, Alonzo. Alonzo more than one of the great. You know, Chris Bosh retired. Yeah, Bosh retired. Respect the Bosh. Yup, he got his rings. Got his rings. Man. His money retired. Yeah. Dang, they got Larry Johnson with the gold tooth. Oh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. With the gold tooth. I had to pick they that. They got Shaquille O'Neal here when he was on the Cavs. Oh, wow. That was the, I think that was his last team that he was, and then he retired because he said he wanted to play with LeBron yeah, before he retired. Right, because he no, but I, I want to say because I don't even went with Boston, then he went with the Cavs, right? So it was like Boston. Yeah, he was with Boston with Ray Allen, right? Uh, 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 man, Paul Pierce, Paul Pierce, yeah, and, and Garnett, my K boy Garnett. KD. Yeah. I mean, K uh, KG, Kevin KG. Durant. Yeah, 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 man, those Garnets, I would love a pair of those. I had them when they came out because they was all black sneakers. And, uh, and it was just dope. That's that's one of my favorite players, Kevin Garnett. Him and Rasheed Wallace, like yeah. big man. That's what well, I was to go back briefly on Tim Duncan. When you were talking about that's what that's what made me respect Tim Duncan a hell of a lot because when KG was going at him hard body when he first got in the league, Tim wow. Duncan was just steady boom, Mr. Fundamental boom. You know, catch it off the catch off the elbow. You know, the pivot boom off the glass. He was just True. like yeah, he was just just doing his thing, man. It's I was true. like. So I'm gonna pick respect. the dream team from Heat. I'm gonna go. I got Dwayne Wade and LeBron James. So many choices. So right. many choices. So many choices. So little man. time. Yeah. Oh, we got. The, oh, we got. Oh, we got. Oh, we got. Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway. I'm gonna go Tim. Chicago. Wow, Tim Hardaway. Hardaway. Y'all didn't know that's that. That's that's. The... That's Tim Hardaway Jr.'s dad, folks. Yes. What happened, to Tim Hardaway Jr.? Where he's at? Houston. Was he? I think he's with Atlanta, right? And Atlanta, was, right? Okay. Cause I, 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 wasn't he playing with Houston? Wasn't he playing with um the dude with the beard? I forgot his name. James Harden. Harden. James Harden. Wasn't he playing with James Harden? He might have been. I, I'm if I'm not mistaken, I we think he's was still with Atlanta. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, probably Atlanta, cause Atlanta needs somebody. Yeah. Atlanta, 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 Atlanta is a great franchise. Just I just need to get y'all players right. Exactly. They never had. They never had that knockout player like the last. Two, nice three block. seasons. They didn't have that knockout player. Somebody to really take the game over. They ain't have a. They ain't have a. They don't have stars. Yeah. And you know Dwight Howard, man. I just. I. I no. I just, Where I, he's at now? Isn't he going back to the Lakers? Is rumored. I think so, man. But don't tell me that kid. Dwight Howard, he don't know what to do himself. Yeah, man. 
And he's a and he could he could have been he could have been a great. He should have stood at LA because LA would have got you the players you needed. Cause now LA got that young boy. What's his name? Alonzo. What's his name? Oh yeah, uh, 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 Lebar Ball. Lebar Ball. His yeah. father was a champion. Offers up the jumper. Like that's a that's, his dad is a champion of basketball. Like that boy grew up basketball. I'm not mad at him that he made sneakers. I'm not mad at him. Not at all. I'm not mad. He doing what his daddy telling him to do. The dad told him, listen, you go play ball, I kick care of everything else. And his little brother is nice too in basketball. Yeah, uh, Melo. He's killing in the cotton, uh, I think, high school. Yeah. But he want to be a designer. So, you know, everybody want to be a designer. Yeah, yeah. Don't have the passion. Passion, for it. yeah. Passion. It's like, oh, I can make the clothes and everything. No, you don't know what it takes to make clothes, clothes. man. You need the machine, you need money, you need the right people who know what they're doing. Exactly, you do, you need all that. But, be like you, but I'm glad you said that, you need the passion first and the passion will carry you through to learning all this stuff. But like you said, some people just get into it just because it's the new thing. Yeah, it's the new thing. You don't have any passion. Like after me streaming, there were so many people right after me that I know weren't the stream. But do they have the passion for it, the drive for it? Do they want to really do it? No, they just wanted to do it just to do it. And then that's why I'm the number one show where I'm at. I told y'all, don't go against me. Never go against somebody you grew up with. Because you're going to be like those people in those, those flashbacks. It's like, oh, I knew him. Yeah, we used to do this and do that. Where are you now? Because if you do it, man, people don't realize talent, you know, Hard work beats talent any time. Because yep. because hard work is over over a period of time. Where yep. talent can be for like a short moment. It's true. You know? It's just like in wrestling too, where you could be you could be breeded um, to and franchise like let's do Ric Flair for example. World who's known worldwide in any sport, any franchise, anything. And he has a daughter who's into wrestling. Okay, the Ric Flair does? He has a daughter who became multiple time women's champion. Who, who, what? Ric Flair has a daughter. He had a son too. Another son, but he passed away in Japan. Oh, wow. He had a very accident and lost his life because he was going to be the next Ric Flair, styling and profiling. But his daughter continued the legacy because she could have kids. So what I'm even using by that is it's like she was born to wrestle. James. Mm. But you could have the gifts of being a wrestler, but you gotta develop your talent. Yeah, exactly. And that's why WWE has performance centers and they said you could be this kid, you could be a legendary kid. You could be a legendary wrestler's kid. But I'm gonna treat you just like the first person that just walked. I'm gonna treat you just like the amateur that have none of this. Right. But by you being this person's kid and you wanna act like this person, I'm gonna treat you harder. I'm gonna make you work it's even harder. How bad do you really want Anyone? it? Would you step in your parents' shadows or would you create your legacy that goes beyond them? Mm -hmm. So that's when we get the basketball kids, baseball kids, the soccer kids. Even when I'm doing right now, my kids later on want to become a professional gamer. You know, it's, you got to work at it. Like, I got the gifts. Like, I'm a no-round gamer. Like, I could go on any game and I could dominate and play. Like, if you play me in the fighting game, I'm going to beat you. We can play a role play in a game, we're gonna go through the story together. Make sure you got the popcorn and tissue ready. You know? We could play we can play any other game. Oh, he's trying to make the comeback, y'all. Ah. Oh, what is that? What was that? Yeah, oh, no, no shot clock on there, no no goaltending on there. Uh, Look who was he? Yeah, perfect three. What oh, was that perfect three shot? Perfect three shot, yeah. Did I shoot it and then it grabbed? What? I don't know what. This is like NBA jams. You never know what's going on. You just press ah, the button. Woo! Got it now. Okay, I'm competing now, y'all. Woo! He's in the zone I'm now. now y'all. Got a little something, something. Timing. That was perfect. Okay, what they gonna give me now? Stays out of trouble with the crossover. Okay. Oh, I jumped too soon. Ah, oh, dang. Wow. What a ah, shot, oh, huh? Oh, yeah. Gotta get in the wing room, baby. Now, what How you gonna let me go up there like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> like, you was just watching it. Timmy's nice, but he ain't. Oh, damn. That's pretty cool because they do the. Okay, that's what that means. That means the Jesus Rock. Really? With the dancing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not even, that's not even the Nene dance. Right. Well, that's not even dabbing it. That's actually a Carlton dance. The Carlton Bank dance. Wow. He bungled that one. I would say if they ever bring back Fresh Prince of bel they gotta have LeBron on the show. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, of course. It was rumored that um that they might do a, re a remake of Fresh Prince of Bel Air, oh, really? and it was supposed to be Will Smith's son. Okay. Play with the finger roll. Well, you know how the world is; they ain't yeah, accepting what he's doing. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a different time. It's, 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 it's a different time. As well. Can it be a really Fresh Prince of Bel Air now? Cause there's so many millionaires out there now, and there's so many there's so many people in Bel Air that's not even rich, and they got houses. Yeah, right. They just do it for property. Oh my lord, I can miss that. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if he did that in a real game. Oh, he would get soul food. Was it tied up? No, 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 you got that. Oh, 34 to 24. Yeah. I was like, 34-34 when we go to wish. sudden death? I wish. See how we played the game and we got better at it? Well, we're going to... Say goodbye to the folks out there. Word. This has been another installment of the Plug with RX Superstar. I'm RX Superstar. This has been Tuesday's episode 93. We stream to you, NBA Playgrounds. Go out and get this game. It's a very cool game. I'd like to give a big shout out to our special guest, Mr. Clyde Dixon. Yes. And before we, and before you say finale, say good, say good night. I remember I gotta give you. I'm gonna present him with a gift. Oh, it's a gift. Brought, I get a gift. You know, gifts. Oh, we love gifts here, right here in the plug with our yeah. Star. You guys can donate right there in the description. Donate whatever you want. You can donate pop toys, as you can see, all these pop toys was donated. And yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. So, so me being an educator, I got this book for him. Right. This is pretty cool. You know? Show the people. Yeah, the, the game and development. You know, game what I'm talking and about game and development. You know. See, this is what this is what it's all about. The plug with our Superstar. Yeah. He's helping me of my journey, and he's um encouraging me and I love to read because he knows I love to read yes, sir. I always paid attention I always had his work ready for him and I made sure I stood after class if I ain't have it ready Rush. <laughs> true facts facts and I made people stay after school too facts and he helped to organize I want to study group too exactly facts. I want to give a shout out to one person in my class because he watches the show shout out to Tony Tony you my man we passed together I told you we was gonna do it just listen to me I will be contacting you soon Cause you got that meat mug mafia face. <laughs> <laughs> and I got one this more thing cool. for you too. Oh, we got another, you know another, another joint. Another one. Cause I know this man loves to learn just like I love to learn. So for RX, I got him this as well. A staple joint. How is in? How is in? People's history of the United States. Yes, I sir. need this. We yes. gotta learn history. You gotta yes, know sir. your presence. The real deal. You gotta know the real deal. I'm trying to focus this so people can see it. Yeah. Can you see it folks? Can you see it? Can you see it? You see it? Go get that out there. Yes, sir. How was this? This is cool. How was in? How was in? I'm definitely going to read this. And that's the stuff that's like New York bestseller. Yes. We got a game developer book to help me out, pursue me more, to help my career out more with the broadcasting and gaming development to be the most awesome grandmaster of video game playing in the world. I'm coming after you in tournaments. Prepare for me. I used to go to tournaments when I was younger. So I have trophies, yeah. I have trophies. Shout out to Neutral Ground, which was the place to go in the 90s for for all this stuff, because wow. that was the way to go. To play like card games like Pokemon, like Yu-Gi-Oh, to play arcade games, to play Neo Geo, Dang to play yeah. to play PSP, to play Game Gear, to play Game Boy, to cook, hook it up, Dang to yeah. play against a person, player. Um, Dungeon and Dragons, not the computer version, the old school with the dice. It was a group there. So I got familiar with it, and that's why I went to my tournaments. I won Soul Calibur 4 tournament. I got the trophies and all that stuff there. Bust those out later. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be bust out later in a blog of past. But check out these awesome books. I appreciate the gifts. I'm definitely going to read this. This is I'm definitely going to read it. I always read. Um, this is cool. Like I'm really interested in both of them. Like I'm, 
I'll read both at the same time. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta train yourself yeah, like that. Yeah. Just like who was it that told us to do stuff like that? Was it Bill Gates that he reads ten books in like an hour or something like that? Oh, really? I, that I, somebody I out there. I forgot who it was. Was it Bill Gates or was it Steve Jobs? Maybe, but all the major players, all the major players, the people y'all admire, they read. read. How many one books you could read in mean, one day? You yeah. have to train yourself. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But I'm an avid reader, though. Avid reader. And again, y'all, don't, it don't have to be what you think people want you to read. Read what you like, and then build from there. Exactly. Like I, said, I told you, I start with comic books, and then expand it to like kids sports illustrated and then it went to like sports biographies and other things so yeah just start where you what you know and then build on that exactly so i like to say thank you for coming Brother, to the show thank you for you having more me more welcome to come back thank we're all you. coming back for season two this has been now uh, episode 93 we got six more episodes left for the season finale you never know who's going to be a guest star the only way you can find out is tuning into my plug download twitch on your mobile app android smart tvs Laptops, computers. If not, go to your web browser. Put it in the description. Put it in your web browser. www.twitch.tv forward slash the little slash like that. Rx Superstar. And also check out my show's Facebook page to keep up to date with books, uh, music, media, whatever's going on in the world is on there. Go to www.facebook.com forward slash the plug with Rx Superstar. And then follow me on all my social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Keep up to date weekly. Uh, shout out to Yup, the wrestling crew out there. Shout out to Solar Tree. We got Solar Tree Week coming up. Shout out to Finding Home Pictures. We got those. Um, Hernet still haven't released the last photos of my photo shoot with him. Mm. What group photo me and Bosby took group photo. And go out there, live your dreams, follow your passion. Because following your passion will lead you to your dreams. Work hard at it. We out of here. You can find this man, Mr. Dixon, and all his credentials right there in the description. We out of here. See you later, folks. Don't forget the popcorn. And we see you for Throwback Thursday. Later, folks. Peace. Peace out. Man, this is a good show.